Hello, my name is J.R. Chadwick. I received your private message and watched your videos. I am not sure why you decided to send it to me in particular. Perhaps you are just spamming random people to get your name out, which is a violation of YouTube's terms of service. Whatever your reason, I did watch your videos, and let's review them. You reuse old straw men such as random chance and bogus probabilities, as well as numerous other logical fallacies. You reuse very often used quote mine examples of Darwin and Einstein. You provided a large compendium of scientific concepts of which you want naturalistic explanations. Indeed, I could spend days picking apart and correcting just one of your videos. For instance, Do you know yet yeah, that they haven't found a single transitional form that links a monkey to a human? No transitional fossils? Are you out of your mind? You did not do any real research before making these videos. You seem to be under the mistaken impression that your questions are new and groundbreaking. You are incorrect. All of your statements have been repeated an exorbitant amount of times by a number of uneducated loudmouths for decades. Your argument can best be summed up by the phrase, I do not understand evolution, therefore it is false. You've denied yourself a scientific education and then release a flurry of ideas you wish us to prove to you. Stop pretending the information does not exist. It is freely available to you. And since the closest thing you did to sourcing was aggressively telling us to Google it, I have no motivation to assist you with finding this information. I will, however, refer you to the Potholer 54 channel. His Made Easy series is a poor substitute for an actual education, but it is a good place to start. Thunderfoot's Why Do People Laugh at Creationists series answers some of your questions as well. I was kind enough to provide links on the side. Usually I make response videos for the more unique and bizarre falsities and outright lies. Perhaps you've seen my series Nephilim Free Typical Creationist Liar. Debating people like you would be a fruitless endeavor as I would simply be repeating myself over and over again. Debating Venom Fang X? Well, that would be slightly more interesting. He is creating his own falsities based on his own intuitions now. Plus, he is so well known that debating him would probably gain me more subscribers. I'm sure Goat got a boot from his spat with Venomfang X. Nephilim Free may also be interesting to debate. He is so strange and makes his own falsities, or at least his own version of them, that it might be fun. I noticed you are aware of Nephilim Free by the comments you made on each other's channels. Whoever it was who decided to make a response to you would best find something more worthy of his time. No matter what he says, you, you will never accept it. You will just move the goalpost. I'm afraid you simply have delusions of grandeur. Open your mind, go get an education, then come back and make videos demonstrating what you disagree with. I have to be off now to dinner at my parents' place. Feel free to post any video response you like. Thank you for watching, and once again, my name is J.R. Chadwick.